Phaedra Tillery Bowden's sister friend. Wine sip and scrolling. She spits wine back into her glass. 
puts her phone down and looks you dead in the eye. See ya. I am not going on a cruise this year, next year, and any year with Kendra, period. I don't even know why you tried it. Portia, come on now. She's going through a lot right and, now. And? And? <laughs> she could use a girl's trip too, and you know it wouldn't be the same without her. Girl, bye. Two years is not enough time for me to even consider taking a week-long vacation from her. You and her can go, or you and I can go. Portia immediately rolls her eyes and begins to mumble under her breath as she starts patting her pockets and digging through her purse. <laughs> this girl thinks I'm going to share a room with Dan Kendra for seven whole days. <laughs> oh, my damn vacation, too. Her birthday got my, got my damn vacation. She, she turned 30. Of course, <laughs> I'm sitting right here. I can hear everything. <laughs> and what the hell are you looking for? Check my joint. Damn. She finds the joint. Oh, <laughs> too. I got my nerves all bad. Look, I was gonna surprise you with it, but I'ma smoke it my damn self. <laughs> you saying I should take a seven-day cruise with you and Kendra? Girl, it's not the funk you in. You losing it at 40. Stop it now, Portia. I think this might be a great idea for the three of us. Look, I have let that relationship go, and so should you. You still got that damn picture hanging on the wall, like we still friends. Ugh. You know, it seems like every time I come, that picture gets bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Portia finds a lighter in her purse and sparks joint. Ooh, it takes long, off. hard. <laughs> Sia <laughs> stands to open second wine bottle. Mm -hmm. Portia, I wasn't trying to piss you off, friend. <coughs> Portia, more wine. Portia nods with gratitude and next out large amounts of smoke and coughs. But slow down on that joint and pass the duchy to the left hand side. <laughs> Portia smiles because she knows she bought Sia's favorite kind of weed. What? Mm -hmm. Purple Kush? Hey! Girl! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! Anyway, look, it's been a long time and I need y'all to make up. She needs us right now. Where was she when I needed her? Wait, I know, I know, but hear me out. I think time can heal old wounds. You guys were closer than you and me and I feel like it's time. You know what would have been a good time? When I needed her. She left me, Sia. Like, what kind of friends leave you and don't turn their phone off when you need them? <laughs> Her head wrap is on. She's in her pajamas and a glass of wine is on the counter. 
She is multitasking between sipping wine, folding clothes, and hitting her baby. <laughs> Robert Glass for music underscores the same. Hey, girl. Did Greg come pick up his stuff yet? Girl, yes. He showed up an hour late and didn't even call to say he was going to be late. I can't deal with him and all of this. I tried to make sure the kids weren't here to see him pack his stuff. I think that would have made things too hard, you know? But he still doesn't even get it. Like, oh my God, just be aware. I think he's just broken up about the whole thing. Kendra, be more patient with him. You have been in this place a while, and I respect how you feel, but you are just now letting him into your true feelings, and also telling him it's too late to fix. We are not going to get to this right now. I have to go pick up my kids from my mom's. Is that what you're going for? Well, damn, you rude. <laughs> <laughs> I really just wanted to check on my friend and make sure you were okay. I know today wasn't easy. Thank you, friend. I've been praying through it, so I'm okay. Okay, prayer warrior. <laughs> but seriously, I'm proud of you for keeping your cool through all of it. So, when can we do dinner? I haven't seen the kids in a while. No, it's been a while. Would you happen to be free tomorrow? I could pick up the kids from my mom's and we could hang and cook. You know what? That works. I'll even make you some greens. Yes, girl, you know we love your greens. Lights fade. Scene three, January 2022. Portia phone. She's in the kitchen. Alexa, play Faith Evans mix. <laughs> Portia dances in her kitchen as she cooks. Things are complicated. We will be okay. 
I promise. I get it, Mom. So Dad will come and get you when he isn't working. We'll figure out a schedule and try to make this as normal as possible. But if you ever feel overwhelmed, just, just need to talk. Know that we are both here for you no matter what. Okay, Mom, can I go now? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, son. Your auntie will be here shortly, so don't turn that music up too loud. Damien exits to his room. Zanaya is still sitting on the couch with a sad face. How about we start prepping all the food before your aunt Sia gets here? Okay. Kendra and Zanaya head to the kitchen. They pull out the fixings of fried pork chops, mac and cheese, and greens. Mm. Mommy, can I help make the cornbread? It's my favorite. <laughs> yes, you can. You know what my favorite part is? To add a little sugar to the batter. My favorite part is watching the butter melt over the top. Oh, lovey. I like that part, too. I used to cook in the kitchen with my mommy, just like you. Zanaya smiles. The doorbell rings. Damien runs from the back to open the door. Auntie Sia! Mom, my favorite auntie is here. Sia smiles and hugs him. She is happy to see him. Damien helps Sia with the grocery bags and wine. She's careful. They both laugh. Zanaya runs and, runs and hugs her auntie's waist. You can feel the good energy and love in the room. Damien takes the bags to the kitchen table. Kendra and Sia hug a lot longer than normal. You can tell they needed that moment. A small tear falls from Kendra's eyes. The embrace from her friend allows her to release a bit of her struggle. Sia notices and tries to change the subject and help Kendra from hiding the tears from her kids. Oh, I mean, look at that face. Is that a mustache I see? There? <laughs> you trying to get fine on me, nephew? Oh, you see it. I got some coming in on my chin, too. <laughs> the ladies love it. <laughs> Just a hater. Well, my handsome nephew, you better be studying those books and not those girls. Oh, I do both. <laughs> I have a 3.4 GPA and I'm getting calls for football now. Okay, nephew, now that is what I love to hear. Mm -hmm. Auntie Sia, did you bring this stuff to make your greens? I love your greens so much. Yes, baby, I did. Now let's get in the kitchen. I'm out of here. I think I hear my phone ringing in my room. I'm sure it's the lady. Hi, Damien. <laughs> so silly. Damien exits to his room. Kendra pours wine and gets pots out. You see the three of them cook, laugh, drink wine, and teach the little one. This goes on for a while. Once the dinner is done, you see them call Damien to the table. You watch a family and a friend sit eat. Life. This moves along as Damien gets up and heads to his room. Zanaya goes into her room, comes back to kiss her mom and aunt, and heads back to her room. Kendra and C are left to clean and drink wine. Music over. Okay, so now you can give me all the tea. How the hell are you, friend? It's tough. Really? I mean, I just want to keep my kids smiling, you know? He's been calling and talking to them, which is good. They'll go see him tomorrow, which gives me a moment to breathe, but mostly, I think they're doing okay. Only time will tell, I guess. Well, I'm here for whatever you need. I can help with picking them up or whatever. I appreciate that, friend. They love you to death. Any time with you makes them happy. Oh, they're my babies. They just grown up so fast. Oh, girl, I know. <sighs> okay, so, you know my birthday's coming up. <coughs> yes, it sure is. What do you want to do? Let's go on a seven-day cruise to Jamaica. Ooh, now that sounds like fun. I do need a vacation after all of this. See, I knew you'd be down, so it's going to be me and you and Portia. See, it's six months. Really, see? You just going to throw that in there at the end? Look, I don't know if I'm ready for all that right now. Kendra, come on. It's my 40th. You know it wouldn't be the same without her there. I am dealing with a lot right now, and that is a battle I don't have the energy for. I prayed about this situation, I'm leaving that in God's hands. Well, don't you just sound like a Tyler Perry play. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, we all need each other right now. It's been way too long. Did you even bring this idea up to her? The last time I saw her, she wouldn't even look in my direction. She was hurt, and you know you hurt her. 
This has got to end between y'all. Yeah, but I have to be honest about who I am and what I believe. My relationship with Christ always comes first. Well, you sure do know how to wait for the perfect time to share your beliefs and feelings. See, you are trying it. I know my timing is horrible, but I, I can't control when God speaks to me, and when he speaks, I have to obey. Look, this is a conversation for you and her to have, not for you and I. I understand you, and I understand her. And the issue is, y'all need to understand each other. Your friendship was way too valuable to, to both of you for this to not be resolved by now. But I'm going to leave this alone right now and give you some time to decide. My birthday isn't for a few months. But no, now I'm going to keep asking and working on the both of you. <laughs> yeah, I know you will. So, how's your woman's church group coming along? I know you're really excited about its progress. You know what? It's one of the only things that is keeping me sane right now. We're gathering once a week. We study the lesson and have a long, open dialogue and how it applies to our lives. We're going to start some community outreach and help single mothers, abused women, and hopefully bring them to our church. I know working at the church means a lot to you. You know, I think I really have found my purpose. I mean, even talking to God just seems easier. Even with the separation, I just, I feel like I'm going to be okay. God is really working on me. So does this mean you're getting all saved on me now? Can we please still go to happy hours and drunken vacations? Oh, girl, calm down. You're going to drink with or without me, so that doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm saved, not dead, friend. I just have a new outlook on life. Well, then, cheers to your growth in the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Lights fade. <laughs> Scene 5, January 2022. Later that evening, Kendra prepares for bed. Dressed in her night clothes, her head wrapped up, and she is applying lotion to her face and hands as if she just got out of the shower. Slow music is playing. A few candles are lit and lights are low. You can hear the laughs down the hall as her kids are talking amongst themselves. Hey y'all, tone it down. I'm headed to bed. All right. Night, Mom. Runs into her mom's room. Give me a kiss, Mommy. The two embrace. Come on, Z. I will turn on a movie in your room and watch it with you until you fall asleep. You can come in my room, but your phone can't. Wow. Really? And both of you out. And yes, Damien, no phone. Give some time to your sister. All right, all right. Both kids leave the room. Kendra closes the door behind them. Then immediately falls to her knees to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I need you now. She begins to weep. Things seem to be in shambles all over the place around me, and I don't even know where to begin to pick up the pieces. Lord, my marriage, my kids, my friends, my family, all of it, Lord, it's just too much. But you said in your word that you would never put more on me than I can bear, and Lord, this weight is heavy. Greg is a good father, and I appreciate you sending him to me for that. But Lord, I know I need more than a father and a man. Mm. End of Act 1. Act 2, Scene 1, June 2000. Inside the ladies' room of a college gathering hall, two ladies enter the bathroom, wiping sweat off of their brows. Both ladies refresh their makeup as they talk to each other through the mirror. Setting is 2000, 22 years earlier. C is wearing all black short haircut, shows her confidence and strength. She's wearing very short shorts and a cute black top to reveal her athletic legs. Portia has long box braids, half top and bell bottom jeans. C and Portia have different styles, but similar energy. Oh, my bad girl. I didn't mean to push you like that. I thought you were someone trying to get up all up on my man. I'm going to tell you were protective over your man, but... Damn, I had no idea. Oh, <laughs> damn. Your Malcolm's girl, right? Yeah, and you're clearly Black's girl. Sure am. <laughs> Black did say he was coming tonight. He told me all about you. Him and Malcolm are always together, so I guess it's about time we met. Yeah, Black is hella cool. We were just dancing, though. Hope you aren't mad. I always like to break folks off when I'm chatting. Girl, <laughs> me too. You were sitting it out there. I can't lie. That's why I had to elbow you, because I ain't about to let no one do my man like that at his party. Well, I'm Portia. Whatever, I'm Sia. You cool with me? I don't know. The 
way my shoulder hurts from that elbow, <laughs> the jury's still out on you. <laughs> okay. So how long have you been dating Malcolm? Oh, girl, it's new. Just a few months. I met him at the last frat party they had. Oh, okay. Why well, I never seen you around? I just moved to the area. I perform in theater a lot, so I don't have much free time. What that mean, perform in theater? <laughs> I like to perform in on-stage live productions for fun. I'm usually always at rehearsals. Oh, okay. Like you be singing and dancing and shit. <laughs> you, you have a funny girl. Yeah. I like singing and dancing on stage in front of people. Oh, wow. You a square-ass black girl then. <laughs> it makes perfect sense when Malcolm dates you. I'm waiting to hear back now. Um, 
damn, okay. Well, how did you get your own place at 19? Her ass graduated high school at 16. Oh, damn, you hella smart. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd been working at the hospital since then, so I know she's about to get into nursing school. They would be stupid to not let this smart ass black, to tell this smart ass black woman no. <laughs> you said to say it. I am going to get into that school. Mm -hmm. All right, come in here and make these pork chops you say you can cook. So when are you supposed to hear back about your security card? <sighs> Any day now. Hopefully they call soon. Me and Black been talking about getting the place. Oh, that is a big step. Aren't you only 20? Yeah, see, I think that's a bit too much. Well, I have to get out of my mom's house. She's not going to let me stay there with a baby. Uh, wh what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to wait until the food was done to tell you but... I'm pregnant. See ya. I know, I know, but Black is stepping up. He wants to get married. No, he's not proud, but he's actually excited to be a dad. You about to get married? Square chill. I don't know yet. We just talk about it. Damn, see ya, no protection though? Man, you know better than that. Girl, have you seen Black? <laughs> I can never tell that man no. He is fine though. As hell, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Texas! <laughs> uh, uh, so, you, must be, you must be trying to 
end up on Unsolved Mysteries. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to see a man you have never met in person. And where are you going to say, girl? Girl, at his house. Damn, <laughs>
I'm so tired of throwing up. Girl, oh, this one and done for me too. This these men out here ain't shit. <laughs> I can't believe Black cheated on you. Mm -hmm. Girl, I don't even have the words at this point. He can get on. And she tosses more shit. Yes, ma'am. His loss. And all he can do for me now is take care of his son. I feel like that is where he. he I feel like that's where we won't have to worry about him. That I can give him. He's a good dad, but a horrible husband. On the topic of husbands, Rashawn wants me to marry him when I go back to Texas. Girl, what? He wants to take care of me before he leaves to Iraq. You haven't told her yet? Well, I wanted to wait until we were all together. You know how judgmental she can be. <laughs> no, right here. <laughs> what the hell do you mean he's leaving to Iraq? He has to go back to Iraq next month. He wants to make sure I have benefits for the baby if anything happens. We gonna drive down so she can say goodbye and get married. <laughs> I'm gonna come home so I can have the baby here with y'all. I'm gonna live with Sia so we can help each other with the babies while he's gone. I don't know, Portia. That sounds like a lot. Are you ready for marriage? Girl, I tried telling her the same thing, but her situation is different. What if something happens to him over there? I kind of get it. She has to marry him and protect herself and that baby. She barely knows him. Now that is dramatic. I know him. Really, Portia? We flew down there for one weekend and have been back twice. Once, you made that baby, and the second time you flew out there to tell him you was having that baby. <laughs> Ooh, but bam! Shut <laughs> up, see ya! <laughs> Let it out, Kendra. How do you really feel? I'm just saying, talking over the phone ain't knowing anyone, especially to be marrying them. But what's your plan for you and that baby with or without them? I don't know. None of this was planned. I was just having fun with them. I wasn't in love like Sia. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been, actually. Then don't feel the need to marry him. We're only 20. You have plenty of time for that. They all sit in silence for a moment. It's all good, Square. You're going to stay with me. We're going to figure it all out together. I mean, really, you got to agree, Kendra. Her staying here instead of moving there with him is a better option. Yeah, so y'all can love and hug on your knees. <laughs> Shut 
Okay, I'm gonna put all the sodas and waters in these bins on ice. Uh, I'm just gonna organize this food table. Uh, Kendra, what time is your sister supposed to be here with the cupcakes? It's too hot out here for her. You know how she is. Uh -huh. She says she will get here when it cools down. But Red just went to meet her to get the cupcakes so they can be here on time. Girl, your sister crazy. Her <laughs> ass really not gonna show up till the sun go down and then want a pat on the back. Talk about she was on the cleanup crew committee. <laughs> <laughs> she got my damn nerves. <laughs> she a diva just like you. No, please, she is spoiled. <laughs> Leave her alone. You the one decided to have a baby shower outside on the hottest day of the year. It's hot as hell out here. <laughs> oh no, baby, hell is hotter than this. <laughs> you better get right. Kendra, it's too hot to be playing church right with you today. <laughs> okay. okay, before everybody gets here, tell me how Ella's party was last night. <laughs> what happened? Y'all got that look. <laughs> Nothing, really. Girl, everybody was there from back in the day. The DJ was, DJ was cracking. Mm -hmm. Her baby daddy was there. Wait, Black was there? You so messy. Black was not there. <laughs> Damn it. Oops. I mean, everybody and their baby daddy was there. It was hell of people. Girl, you so damn stupid. No, no, really. Everyone was there. Even people we went to high school with. Um, remember those girls, Kim, that used to sing all the time? And her friend Tanisha, they used to crack all the jokes. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this since high school. I know, it was really good to see them too. They look good. Oh wow, it's good to hear. Damn, I hate I missed that. It's okay, friend, you only have one more week to be pregnant. Do they tell you if they're gonna induce you Thursday or Friday? Friday. Ooh. Oh man, your niece is gonna be so mad. <laughs> when is she flying back in? Saturday. She's excited to be a big cousin. I know. I called to check on her last week. All oh, she kept talking about was Kendra and her baby cousin. I can't wait to see her. Rashawn said she has grown up so much over the last couple months. How is Rashawn doing? He's cool. He finally retired from the military, so he is home a lot more now when he spends time with her six months. Damn, six he, months. he retired? Yeah. He bought a new house. She seems to like it and the school she goes to. How much longer are you guys going to make her rotate in and out of school like this? I thought when she got into middle school, it was going to start showing some issues, but she's been adjusting fine. We'll have another conversation next summer when it's time for high school. Oof, you know how Rashawn is about his daughter. Mm -hmm. I would love to be a fly on the wall for that conversation. Shut <laughs> up, Sia! And blow up some more balloons. Looking, it's looking scarce as hell up in here. I wasn't going to say, but now that you mentioned it, Portia, she is moving kind of slow with those balloons. It's too damn hot for me to be blowing up all these damn balloons. Y'all going to have to call the damn ambulance if I blow up anymore. <laughs> Just make Craig do it when he gets back. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. I'll just get the cold started. Ooh, that? good idea. Okay, okay. So before anyone gets here, what happened on your date Friday night? Sia flashes a look at Portia, and they catch each other's eyes. Damn, Sia! I can't tell my own business anymore? We were on the phone, and she wanted to call you the three days, so I just said you were on a date. Wait, what, what? Why can't I know that you went on a date? Because you, you always, always got, got something, something to say. say. Your old judgmental ass. <laughs> oh, good. Yes. I went on a date. Okay, spill the beans. Was he cute? Where did y'all go? No, no, wait, how'd y'all meet? Come spill it. We met online. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You're really trying to come up on the first 48, aren't you? Let it finish. It gets good. Shut up, Sia. This must be good. A horn honks in the distance. Oh, that's Greg. Look, hold that thought. Let me grab these cupcakes, and I'll be right back to hear the rest of this story. Now, Sia. You know this isn't the day for this. For what? What do you mean? I am not telling her I went on a date with a girl. It will be a whole issue. No, it won't. She'll be fine. Just tell her. Her husband gonna have the whole church family here today. I'm not going to tell her. Remember how she acted when Riri drunk kissing a girl at the club? She talked about it all night and Reed don't even date girls. She just drunk, but Kendra <laughs> never lets her live that down. I don't need that today. Yeah, uh, I forgot all about that, that she did that. She got hella in her feelings about it, too. <laughs> Shoot, I thought it was funny. Uh, to each their own. It don't matter to me who you humping on. No. Humping? Really? You see, <laughs> I went on one date. Why are you so nasty all the time? I am not humping. I just met this girl, and I'm still figuring out if this is really what I want to do. So telling Kendra is out of the question. 
You are overreacting. We have seen your entire baby come out. Nothing was crazier than that. <laughs> She'll be fine. Just tell her. Besides, I want to see the look on her face when you do. <laughs> you are so messy! <laughs> Lights fade. Scene 7, April 2020, five years later. Portia is leaving the wedding dress store as her phone rings. Kendra is lit on the opposite side of the stage, on her couch with a glass of wine. Kendra's energy is obviously low. Oh my God, Kendra, I was just about to call you, girl. I'm leaving the bridal store. I just put the final payment down on my wedding dress. My dress is paid for. My dress is paid for. I'm getting married. <laughs> oh, friend, that's perfect. That dress looks amazing on you. You'll make a beautiful bride. Girl, what's wrong with you? I'm hella excited and you sound like somebody died. What's up? You good? Well, I need to talk to you about something. Girl, I know, I know. We've been playing phone tag. This wedding planning has me all over the damn place, but now I'm all ears. You good? It's about the wedding. Oh, Lord, please don't tell me your dress came in wrong. Sia called me earlier about the alteration she needs. Oh, that girl about to make a whole new dress with all the alter adjustments she wants. <laughs> Uh, I swear, these people really be trying to stress you out when you're planning a wedding. Portia, I need you to listen. Uh, damn, okay. Well, I love you, and I'm very happy for you. <laughs> but I just can't be your maid of honor. I'm sorry, what? I can't do it, Portia. I can't be your maid of honor. I'm, I'm so sorry. But I know you are fucking kidding me right now, right? I just don't feel right about standing up there and then having to answer to God. Maybe I can just sit in the audience. Wait, are you saying you can't be at my wedding because I'm marrying a woman? Hello? I'm so sorry, friend. There's silence as they both hold the phone. Portia begins to cry. You came with me to try on dresses. You were at my proposal, but now, literally six months before my wedding day, this is what you do? I should have been up front from the start. It's, to be honest, I have felt this way since the proposal, but I love you, friend, and I know Jordan makes you happy. But my God knows that I am happy you're happy, but, but you know how important my relationship with God is. Wow, Kendra, I really have no words. Like, how could you? This has been a struggle for me, and I, I didn't want to tell you this over the phone, but we haven't had time to connect. God works in mysterious ways, don't he? I'm actually glad this was over the phone. Portia, I don't want this to end our friendship. I still love you very much. <laughs> this feels far from love. I can't with you. I just can't. I don't see how we can remain friends. You're saying you don't approve or support who I am or who I am becoming. If you don't accept all of me, you can't have any of me. This hurts so bad. Portia, I am so sorry. You know, I really can't believe this shit. Portia hangs up. of scene 